Evos for Street Fighter 4 as well. Uh, Kazunoko has been one of the best players throughout the last you know, half a dozen years, um, last four or five years for sure, and uh, really the, the top young player in, in the world. And in Punko, somebody who did great at EVO some years back, always a big threat, but who has really turned the corner right. this year and become one of the absolute best. I think that's as, as good a top four as we could ask for. So the winner of this match is going to be guaranteed at least second place. Right. And the loser of this will be going up against the winner between Daigo and Punko. So who is going to be sent down the loser's bracket? This is winner's finals. Capcom Cup 2015, Kazunoko going up against Sien. And Sien is going to go with Gen. Well, that's what I'm going to assume that he's going to go with. OK. That's certainly what he's button checking with. That's right. He's got a lot of different characters. I wonder how confident he's going to feel with this character going up against Yun. Look, this is this is a big match. So the the winners side top eight at the very start, huge match. Obviously, you want to get into winners finals, you want to win everything, but financially, <laughs> very big. The difference yes. between you know seventh or fifth and third, right? Gigantic. Exactly. Gigantic. Exactly. And then the difference again between third and second, that's big. That's big. So getting into grand finals is uh, that's a pretty big financial benefit. Hundred and twenty thousand dollars going to the first place winner of this tournament. Who will walk home a hundred and twenty thousand dollars richer? Like I said, I think this top four is as good as we could have asked for. It's going to be somebody who really deserves it. So it does look like it's going to be again for Stan. He's thinking about W Ultra, mm -hmm. deep in thought, looking at his notes. Interesting. So W Ultra, remember, you get access to both Ultra combos, which for Gen means you get access to all four of them. Right. But uh, at the risk, at the uh, negative side of getting a lot less damage out of those Ultra. That's true. But you have extra utility. But okay. he chooses to go with Ultra Two. So Ultra Two is interesting because the Punch Ultra basically is kind of like a get out of you know this situation. If he has a lot of pressure, you can use it in a lot of different places, but. You know, it has that really odd mechanic where all it does is white life and you get another hit. Yeah, very little actual damage in there. And, he, you know, he can also attack while, while moving in the air with Ultra 2 as well, which can be a benefit against him. We'll see if that comes up. Right now, already Kazunoko is in. Oh, but here's Shen. <laughs> Mistimed it on, those, on that safe jump. And that was a wake-up stand grab from Stan. That's something that Kazunoko is going to pay attention to in the future, too. Oh! Ooh, wow, not quite in range to be punished. Just gets out of there with the EX up kicks. So I'm really hoping for something. Ooh, Ooh he jabbed to check it. All right. Almost has the super ready. Oh, tried to bait out the up kicks again from Kazunoko, but... Kazunoko didn't bite. And it's, it's always hard to make him bite in that kind of situation. Nice. Went in for Chip. Kazunoko taking round one. Kazunoko knows all the options, and he has a, a great understanding of, of the read. So it's just always tough to make him take the bait in that kind of situation. Okay. Yeah. See how this is just a pattern for Kazunoko. He gets the opponent so scared to attack, and then he always just manages to waltz in there casually and just get the command throws. And jump jab, not to the fierce. Just went right for the command grab. So smart. Well, everybody knows to like stay stand blocking so if the two hits come. Okay, but Kazunoko working on three bars. He's gonna have it if he finds a hit. Shen fully stocked. Oh, there it goes. He does spend the ultra. Again, this is only going to do white damage unless it can drain all of the life. So, nope, just white damage. He has to get the hit. Oh, oh he there does. It is. Kick down fierce. Oh, oh but the red focus is the ultra. Again, when you see Yun with that jump, if it's an empty jump or if it's lo what looks like a misplaced dive kick, you think, oh, you, you messed up. But, no. <laughs> Crouching medium kick, shoulder, red focus, always a threat. Game one, throws to Kazunoko. 
Well, Sien obviously not convinced that that was a bad matchup or a bad result. Mm -hmm. Gonna stick with Gen. Wow. What a whip punish. Already in his corner. Very difficult to just jump in the corner and get something like Kazunoko. Always paying attention. He has not been able to chase that down. Yeah, right, and I, I feel like it's okay for Kazunoko. He spends a bar and he escapes the pressure. Right. Right. Who cares if it hits? Just get away. Especially, too, because even in this late round situation, Sien does not have Ultra 1, so he can't chase down the up kicks with his Ultra 1 either. That's right, yeah. Kazunoko, he is looking so strong. Sent Daigo to losers with a 3-0, and he's working on a 2-0 versus Sien right now. Very consistently moving in the air, very consistently dive kicking at the right spot, and Shin hasn't challenged that stuff well enough. I know it's not easy to do, but if he's gonna take this game, that's gonna, ha it's gonna have to be involved. Woo! But a lot of hits that came before, so this combo is not going to do much damage. So probably a reset that. Oh, he wasn't looking for the cross up. That seems like the default. Right. Maybe Xian was like, oh, well, he's going to fake like he's going for it, stay in front. And Xian, Xian's going for his big damage stuff, too. That roll. Okay. He can do red focus out of it, but didn't come up there. Can he get more this time? Yes! All right, so. A little bit of damage at the start, as you'll see, and then the red. Yeah, the white light, I should say, yeah. Yeah, drain a little bit of the white light. Can you find the hit? Oh, oh the up kicks into the lunge punch! 2-0. Sien just didn't believe he was going to go for it. He thought, you know what? He's going to be defensive because he has this white life. And Kazunoko said, nope, nope. No fear. No fear at all. Just goes right in there. EX up kicks into lunge punch, and he takes it to take a 2-0 lead. Kazunoko's only been punished on those EX up kicks for one time? Yeah. In two games. Even though he's had quite a few. If that's the kind of ratio we're talking about, it makes sense for Kazunoko to keep doing it. Well, so Sien came to character select. Did, did he stick with Ultra 2? Yeah, he's staying with the same Ultra. Okay. There's, there's something about this match. I'm not sure what it is that he wants to stick with Ultra 2. Will be determined here. Yahoo! It's the well, we'll see if it pays off. He does need to win three in a row. Of course, he's in winner, so it's not his tournament life on the line, but you do not want to go down play against Kunko or Daigo. That's not the stuff. See Kazunoko choosing to stay in the front, wants to also keep the corner position. This chase down is so effective against Shen. And Shen backs off to a safer range, but that doesn't mean that he's you know, making damage happen. Right. Mm, wow. Perfectly placed. Kazunoko again in the corner. Oh, gets out, manages to get out, okay. But uh, you know what? It just hasn't made much of a dip. Oh, wow. What a whiff punish. Yeah, it's ridiculous. <laughs> oh! Well, that's there you go. Then maybe that's why he has the Ultra 1. But again, it's not going to do any damage until he gets the hit, and he well, does! He did. Oh, you just saw all that Ooh. light bleed away. Did he know that was going to be stun? I think so. I think he did. Because that was exactly what he wanted, right? It was all, That's like something that you can practice at home. Ultra 2, then I have a setup, and it stuns if I hit. So that's, that's pretty sick. Nice! Wow! You gotta see more of that out of Shen. Yeah, the angle of that waterfall kick just right to catch the dive kick. Back dash and the up kicks in the corner. Making use of all his options, that's for sure. Ooh. And then not punished. That was a whiff. Yeah, we've seen him do that a bunch of times, but I think Kazunoko, he usually punishes with just a raw lunch punch. Still three bars on deck for Kazunoko. Oh, is he going to spend it? Yeah, right into Ultra. Why not? Uh, will that be enough for follow-up? I'm not sure. No, I don't think not so. Not quite. Uh, Shen trying to build some bar. Got to think he's looking for the lunge just in case, but unlikely to come. What? He wow. waited enough for the short up kicks to work. It's match point now for Kazunoko threatening to 3-0 Shen, just like he did Daigo. 
All right, good start for Xian. Look at this. He's going to go for the full combo. Drains about a third of his life right away. Takes him to the corner. Oh. Perfect distancing Ooh. on that side kick. Just hit him right on the shins. Again, right back in. Kazunoko, okay, well, here's maybe Shen. Has some bar to work with. Challenge from Kazunoko on Wake Up with just that low jab. Well, it's a fast button, and he's done enough EX up kicks to make that a credible threat. Almost three bars now for Kazunoko. Oh, from the front still. Is that gonna be it? Yes. Wow. 3-0 against Daigo, then 3-0 against Sien. Hard to get any stronger than that. Those are two